So what's good my dear KD4 pilots and welcome back to another video and this time we're gonna talk about the KD4 once again. I mean I just felt like I kinda should do this because I once made a video about the P47N and the KD4 and how they perform against each other in game and well the developer responded in some kind of way and actually updated the fly model. So yeah, I just wanted to make like a quick update video or inform you guys about you know what happened, how the fly model was updated, if it's good, if it's not. And well, as the intro already implies, it's pretty eh? It was maybe not what I was hoping for. I'll, I'll get into detail about that in just a second. So right here we're in a P-47N, which is you know the American top tier aircraft, pretty much the fastest uh, and probably the best American plane you can, you can fly. And we're gonna test it out against the new KI-84. And as you can see, the 84 already starts off with an energy advantage just because of how well this thing climbs. It has just a marginally better climb than the, than the 84. Though the 84 has a much lower stall rate, so the 84 won't have much issue catching up to 47 and in a climb so what I'm doing here is I'm gonna dive away I'm hitting 500 miles per hour right now which is pretty much the only advantage the 47 holds over the 84 it it's faster in the dive and when it runs so you can extend yourself away in most situations um, though you cannot accelerate away so if the 84 already managed to get up to you close you're probably not gonna make it out of there anymore which is going to happen to me later on in this fight I'm just gonna spoil it right here so yeah what I'm trying to do is I'm just gonna try to extend get, get as much distance as I can get and once I got a lot of distance which is actually the case now I'm gonna gently climb off hoping to get the energy advantage on the 84 and possibly start BNZing it if I can. What I'm doing is I'm only climbing very gently with you know around 6,000 feet, feet per minute max rate of climb or lower so I will keep my speed around 400 miles per hour so the 84 won't just catch up to me and, and it's not just gonna be like right there as I'm climbing and Instead I can keep the distance because I have enough speed and you know eventually get above the 84 but yeah let's see how it goes. Alright, so now I just pretty much did what I said I would do, which is just keep spark climbing and keep your speed up as good as you can, and I brought the fight up to a lot of altitude as you can see, however I can still not out climb the 84 because as I said it's got a very good rate of climb and a good stall rate, so what I'm doing is I'm trying to force the head on, which did not work out at all as you just saw, and I don't have any energy to turn right now. But I see the 84 going down, so I'm trying to go up, but it looked like the 84 lost some energy, but it really didn't. It just just keeps it energy. I'm trying to outstall it, which obviously won't work, and it's catching up. So I'm trying to put myself into a dive, but it's already too late. And yeah, that's where my plane just pretty much gets torn apart, as you just saw. So yeah, it's really... I, the 47 and it dives better than the 84, and that's it. <laughs> And legit does everything else worse. I mean, it carries more ordnance, it has more fuel. Besides that, really, you won't outperform the 84 in the 47N. 